Okay, y'all, I had to wait till all was calm in my house to make this video. And this came upon my spirit for some reason. <clears throat> and I was thinking, like as I was, my daughter actually said something to me that triggered this idea. And I forgot what she said, but the way that she said it, normally back in the days, um... The way that she said, normally back in the day, parents would have acted a certain way. But the approach that we choose to take with our children is to make moments teachable. I believe that children are innocent. They are a victim of their environment and what they are surrounded by and what is allowed. Don't come up in here. I I'm coming. I'm coming. Just don't come in here. Yes, I believe that children are a victim of their circumstances. Um, uh, I believe that children are a victim of their environment and what is allowed. What is allowed? I believe that children are a victim of their environment and what is in <laughs> what is in loud. <clears throat> what is allowed? I believe that children are innocent and they are a victim of what they are a victim of their environment and what is allowed in that environment. Children are, they don't have much experience versus like us in our 20s and 30s. They're still navigating the ways of language and how to communicate with people and how to treat people. They're still learning the way, whereas we have more experience with people and situations. And we are able to, I believe that it is our job to correct them when they are wrong and not to enable them. Or let things just slide by. Because eventually as they become an adult that has to live with other adults, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a huge problem. When you feel like your child can't be told anything, and I get it. Some adults don't come from a place of love. And they, you know, their approach may be a little bit different. And that and something that you may not agree with. So yes, there are are establishing boundaries is a a thing that must be done however if there is an adult trying to teach your child how to be a better person in other words let me just let me just tell you from my perspective your child come up to me and say uh and call me cold russia that's not gonna fly my name is miss russia miss cold russia don't call i'm not your equal we are not the same. You do not have as much experience as me. We are not miss, ma'am, whatever. Don't uh, yes me, no me, or whatever. You know what I mean? Don't be catching your little funky ass attitudes and think that I'm just going, because your mama's standing right there, that I'm not going to say anything or correct that. No, that's not allowed. That's not okay. That's they. We also have to... Teach them respect for other people's boundaries. Because when you're not around and, and when you're not there, people are going to establish their boundaries with your children. This even goes for mine. You know, so let them hear other people tell them, no, this is not okay. No, this is not how we're going to do this. No, I don't want to be called that. No, this is not. Let them get used to hearing no. Because the world is going to eat them alive <laughs> if they don't. If they don't think, if they just, if you just let them think that, oh, it's just sun, sunshine and roses and I'm just going to frolic through this field of flowers and rainbows and unicorns. The world don't work like that. Nobody's going to give them anything. Nobody is going to. No, we live in a world where people feel like they don't owe anybody anything. Not even kindness. People will walk past you seeing you in need and not stop to help or anything. You know, they, they feel like they don't owe you anything. So they don't owe you a hey, hi, hello, or they don't owe you respect. But what you going to do <laughs> is uh, establish your boundaries. Let them. There are some people that are not going to tolerate what other people allow. 
I don't tolerate what a lot of people allow. I'm sorry. Call me a bitch. Call me an asshole. Call me whatever you want to call me. I do not care at this point in time in my life. Maybe when I was in my 20s, but right now, I learned that you can be the nicest person in the world. You can give everybody what they want. You can mold yourself and try to be everything that everybody wants you to be. And people will still shit on you. They will still call you mean. They will still take your name and drag it through the mud. In the beginning, I taught my daughter to be nice. I taught her to respect people and to be kind. Now, I'm teaching her a total different thing. You know, I because the because we don't live in those times anymore. When I was younger, we were taught to say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, be polite, and all of that. And as I got older, I still carried those same things just to see that other people don't value that. They don't value. Uh, there are some people who don't value things that are valuable. There are some people who are okay with people talking to them reckless and talking to them any kind of way. And, oh, that's just who they are. That don't fly with everybody. That's not going to fly with everybody, you know. So, allow your child to hear no. Allow your child to see that, see other people establish boundaries with them. Because that's how the world works, you know. And even with the stuff that these children are being taught in school, like, my God, they won't even let the kids be kids, you know. But I get it in some aspects because they're showing them how the world works. So that unlike us who was just thrown into it and, and you know, thinking it was one way and then being shocked because it turned out to be something else, you know, let them see these things. Let them feel these things. You know, it's not a bad thing that they feel in this hurt. It's not a bad thing that they, you know, they, um, are not happy about somebody telling them no or establishing boundaries with them. That happens. What you think gonna happen when, oh, they've done all this hard work at work, trying to climb the ladder. They've worked the long hours. They've uh came, come in early. They have done all of the work. They take shit from their bosses and everything just to hear that they got passed up for the promotion. You know, then, then, they don't know how to control their emotions. So I feel like when they're under our care, there are certain things that we should allow to happen so that we can guide them in about in a better direction with their emotions and uh, what they go through. I would much rather people establish boundaries with my daughter or her to feel certain things while she's underneath under my care than for me to no longer be on this earth and this world eat her alive. You're really truly doing your child a disadvantage when you don't teach them how to control their emotions, how to control, uh, how to be respectful, how to be uh, cordial, how to be a, basically a decent human being. You, you're doing a disservice because... You're going to miss many things and people, people pick up on those vibes. People don't want to be around those vibes. Let's just be real about it. There's enough stuff that goes on in life naturally that people don't want somebody with a funky attitude around them. People don't want somebody who has bad energy around them. You know, somebody, people don't want someone who can't take a no, you know, and then it goes too far. Then people are doing stuff, you know, doing stuff at schools and in public places. And, you know, I don't want to go too far. I know, you know what's going on in the world. You know, they're doing these things because they don't, some people don't know how to take no or have been told yes their entire lives or parents have defended them in their wrongness. So now when people are actually putting their foot on their necks, they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to, Take somebody not agreeing with them, you know, or telling them, hey, no, I don't like that. I don't, this is not who I am. I don't, this is, no, that's not okay with me. And it's okay to say that. And likewise, you should teach, you be, should, you should be teaching them to set boundaries with other people as well. You know, it, it's a cycle all around. 
This is how you live. You have to learn how to communicate and live with other people in this world. I'm sorry. There's no getting around that. You have to live with other people. You have to respect their space and teach people to respect your space as well. So that's all I wanted to come on here and just shoot the stuff with y'all. So somebody going to get offended. <laughs> and some people are going to feel me. But just be mindful. Just be careful. So <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Because... I'm, I'm, I just don't get it. I don't, you know, just shoot. That's just how it goes. I, it ain't no way of getting around it. Hey, boom. <laughs> I don't know what I 